Good evening, this is Tina. In this video, well, I'm gonna talk about the single field, this type, okay? Which means your index is only using one single field in our document, okay? So let's take a look at uh, for this one, I'm gonna using the restaurants, this uh, collection, because it has a, a variety of choice of all the fields, okay? So let's go to our uh, restaurants first to see the structure, okay? I-E-S-T-A-U-R-A-N-T, -E okay? Um, sometimes I spell restaurants wrong because it's kind of like a weird, like a T-A-U. Okay, restaurants, okay. Dot fine. I was using limit one, okay. Only show one. Then dot uh what's thing? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. I first I will see how many uh how many how many index in our restaurants this collection first. A U I N T dot what's thing? Uh get indexes, okay. So here is all our, we only has one index on our uh, restaurant collection, right? Now I want to show the structure, okay? D B I E S T A U I N T restaurants dot what's thing? Uh, find dot limit one, okay? And then pretty. You know what happened? Why I say restaurant is hard to spell because when I do when I record the, the exercise that a video, I couldn't see the result. The reason and I couldn't fit. I couldn't find the reason because I think the expression I use in the aggregate is correct. Then I stop the video, you know. Then then after that I'm checking. Because I couldn't fix uh, a fix in a shorter time, so I start video, and then I see okay, it's a restaurant spelling is wrong. Then you know my video is all my video is a one shot. I don't know how to edit the videos. So if I made a, if I made a mistake in the middle, I have to record from beginning to the end. <laughs> oh my god, that video I hate that. Okay, so then let's take a look at okay. Okay, so this is our uh, data structure for our document. And I have ID and address is an object, okay? And uh, I have district and cuisine and grades is an array in array contains object. And I have a name and I have restaurant's ID, okay? So now what I'm trying to do, let's talk about, okay. So how about we add a, a what's the, we add one, <clears throat> uh, we can do yes. We add for for this one. We can add uh, this one. How about this one? We add the uh, index on the name. Okay, and uh, so db dot r e s t a u i n t restaurant start uh, create index, and we add on the name, which using uh, name. And then you can give one or uh, minus one. One it means index is in a, a, a ascending order, and if it's a minus one, it's gonna use in descending order. Okay, but uh, uh, for the single uh, single field type uh, index, MongoDB will traverse from either way. Either direction it can traverse, so it doesn't matter in single field you are using ascending or descending. So after I create it like this, okay. If I go to get indexes, we will see two index, right? So now, what's the benefit when I create this one? Right, the benefit is if you do this query, this kind of query, I S T A U I N T restaurants start fine. You do the query is based on the name like uh, an A. If you're using the query like this, it is gonna using the, uh, I don't have, okay. Then you can using, we don't, we don't have one. We can using another one called uh, R-E-G-E-X-R-E-X. -E I couldn't remember correctly, okay. Okay, it's an A. 
see if I have, okay, now it has, okay. So this one, which is big, it means uh, my restaurant name must be an A, I don't have. And this one means uh, uh, my restaurant name can be uh, only contains an A, this uh, two letter, then you're gonna show, okay, that's why I have lots. And when you make a query, which is using name, this field, it's gonna using your the index to do the search. It can be faster. Otherwise, without the name index, it will do a scan on entire collection. And for this restaurant, I have 3,772, okay, documents. It can scan all of them. But if I using, if I have index, okay, it gonna do a sorting based on my restaurant name. So it's gonna be faster. Okay, that's the benefit of using the, uh, what's the thing, uh, index, got it? Okay, and also the index can be created on the, suppose here, if you want to create index on the uh, zip code, address zip code, you can also do, how to do that? Okay, you can do is db dot ristau int dot uh what's the uh create index now i'm my mind is slower that means it's time to sleep uh time to take a rest <laughs> then how to do that we're using address i think it's address right let's see okay it's using uh a d d i s address dot zip code address dot zip code then you can choose ascending or descending like this one and now if i choose get indexes you will say i have uh, one primary key name a uh, name field and uh, i have address zip code so now if i make a query if i make a query using the this one this one this one won't using this uh, the uh, index, okay? This one gonna using the index, which is the name. And if I make a query, what other do I have? Okay, what others? Uh, like this, okay. If I use a make db dot restau restaurants dot find, I want to find all the restaurant which is located in district, which is. Uh, Bro, what's the thing? B R O N X. Were it using any index on this search? No, because in our restaurant we don't have an index on the strict, so it gonna scan for the entire collection. Okay, uh, district Bronix. Okay, anyway, something some Bronix that I have. District Bronix, Bra. Bronix. DB dot find. Does it have? It has. Okay. Then, then, then we we do one more time. Okay, one more time. It doesn't work. District. Copy, copy, and uh, we do one more time. The street and uh, which is this one called the broccoli, broccoli, e? broccoli. D and I remove the one. I didn't see any error. Okay, it has. It works. It works. Okay. So and uh, just now we create index on the. We create index on this address zip code, right? What kind of query you gonna use in this index? It gonna use in this this kind of query. DB I S T A U I N restaurants dot find and you are using this key. Address dot zip code. What kind of zip code I have? What kind of zip code I have? Here let's use in one, okay? Did you see one? Oh here. One 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 
one one two one one okay and if you make this kind of query okay and then to do the uh, find it's gonna using this index to boost to make our query faster and then how a zip code is a string value or what okay they put a string value okay so this is the index you also can also create index on the entire object like address in this case okay then if you search based on entire address then they're gonna using that single index okay so i think that's it for the single type index and what we did is we can create index like uh, based on the next embedded document, like address has uh, 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 has an array uh, has an embedded document, which is uh, the like uh, building number or things you can create using this like, dot. Okay, or we create index on the name, and uh, for the single type of index, it doesn't matter. You give ascending or descending order because uh, mongodb can traverse the documents from either direction okay so thank you for watching this video and uh, see you bye bye